I'm liking the look of these M4 four piston calipers. Four nice little pistons. Comes with these conical, these brackets have tapers and they have conical seat washers. So that means the little bit of irregularity that you have because your some bikes are not machined properly and the, the caliper, as soon as you tighten down, you notice your caliper has a little rock to it. It goes, and then the pads don't wear even. That should take care of that. I've seen a lot of the calipers don't have this feature, these conical washers. That allows this to, before when you tighten it down, you can adjust it side to side a little bit, a little bit sweeter than you could without that. So I think that's pretty nice. Now, one of my cables is too short. I'm going to have to buy a cable kit and change it. That's one reason you don't want to uh, go this route if you want just something that's just nice and easy. Now, I do like the feel. The feel, it only moves that far. Take a look. And you can feel the pads nice and firm. I'm looking forward to getting them on the bike. They got a, it's a one or a two finger pull. So the brake feel is great. Give it a little bit of pressure. I'm going to try one finger here. A little hard with one hand, but uh, yeah, brakes work good. Okay, we accelerate. Hit the brakes, front brake only. Nice. That's only with one finger, guys. You got the contact right coming down to the bottom and going up to the top so the pads fit really really nice they couldn't i couldn't ask for anything better i had to move the caliper down a little bit so it would miss the top of these and get right in the middle brakes getting them all seated in really pleased with the front brake stops really nice sorry about the noise guys Ran into a few fitment issues with the brake. I had to uh, get a one millimeter spacer and space the rotor out one millimeter. That wasn't a big deal. A little bit of research on YouTube showed me there was a spacer available. Somebody else had it when they put in their mechanical hydraulic hybrid brake calipers. So it looked good for me, so I ordered one. Space that rotor out one millimeter. Got some, picked up some longer bolts at Home Depot for the caliper to the mount. Gave me a little more bite. Got that caliper sitting right down where I wanted it. So if you've been following my channel, you know that I'm changing my brakes over to four piston hydraulic. Four piston in the front, four piston in the back. Now I haven't decided on the rear rotor size. I happen to have a 203, which is an eight inch rotor and I'm probably gonna put that on here. Now on the front of this, electric XP 2.0. I have a 8 inch 203 millimeter front rotor. Now if you see this wrench right here, if you see the length of this wrench, this ratchet wrench, ratchet with a socket, has a very long reach which gives you a lot of leverage. Leverage is what does most of the work. Now if you were to try to take this wheel off with this small 3 8 inch ratchet, you would have to exert a lot of force and you probably couldn't break that nut free. Now what does that have to do with anything? It's all about leverage. So, the rotor that came on the XP is a, eight inch, is a 6 inch rotor. So if you see the size of this 6 inch rotor, Compared to the one that's on there, you will see a big difference in the size. One. So I'm really pleased with this rotor, the way it's working on the front brake. And I'm sure that it will work great on the back brake. Now the problem with these back brakes and the front brakes is they didn't sit down over the, the rotor deep enough. And if you look down here, this pad is way over the top of that rotor and it's over the top of the rotor on this side too, which means the pad is higher than the rotor. 
and then it's going to have to wear around the top of that rotor and not it won't seat properly because as soon as it gets a little bit of wear in this area it's going to be uneven unflat this whole section the pad material is not touching the brake contact the pad contact area is the whole width of the rotor and the pads are not riding way up high over the top of the rotor which causes the pad like I said not to wear properly you must be down over the complete top of the rotor in order to get your pad to wear properly so we are looking at the Morocco brake I'm finally getting around to working on my magnetic cutout switches to go with the e-bike the electric 2.0 so I made this lever. This is the magnetic switch kit that you have to buy. Comes with 3M tape and it'll stick right to your brake master cylinder assembly, brake lever master cylinder assembly. Now this this little flat rod, I hammered it out from a piece of scrap stock that I had in my toolbox. Made the bends. It goes into the lever here around this pivot which kind of holds it in place. It's got the bend to follow the contour of the master cylinder and right here it has a flip out and that flip out is where the magnet's going to go and that gives you enough enough travel to trip the switch. This little magnet's going to go right on there just like that. So this magnet will stick to that little bracket and move just like that. Sorry for the noise guys. I took this lever off so you can take a look inside that inside here if I can get a focus where that metal rod comes through right at that right at the thick point of the um, brake lever so take yourself a little bit of heat shrink see this little bit of heat shrink you're gonna have to stretch it so you're gonna have to come up with a way to stretch it now I had this pair of pliers that um, I'm just using them in reverse to spread the heat shrink. And this stuff will bounce back to its original shape if you let it. So you gotta give it a stretch there. Stretch it out. Slide in your heat shrink. is going to go right here stuck to this master cylinder and the magnet is going to trip it which I will have to verify that it works that we're close enough and we'll get to that in a minute So you don't even, you don't have to sweat the small details, just peel it and put it, stick it on there. I'm going to be doing that right now. And I'm going to pull back on this boot because I don't want it to stick to that boot. Boy, 3M has really made a name for itself. You don't have good good stick stiction unless you got 3m so here we go we're gonna put it right there and I left a little bit of gap because it it's I don't want contact there and I've already tested it so let's see if the rear wheel spins the rear wheel spins and I heard it go off the wheel doesn't spin, doesn't spin, doesn't spin, doesn't spin, doesn't there, right there. So, that is a win-win, guys. I got the M4 caliper mounted on my bike and got the hydraulic line cut to size and bled. And I was able to go out and break in these pads. And I got a perfect contact pattern on the original rotor, the 140 millimeter rotor. This M4 four-piston caliper is working great. I'm telling you, it stops so good. Now, if you look at the contact, the way these pads are sitting in that caliper, you can see, let me get a focus here. 
you can see that the rotor is sitting right above the top of the pads, which means the pads are using all the surface of the rotor. And if you look down here, this pad is way over the top of that rotor. It's a perfect fit. It's a, it stops so good. I'm so satisfied with the way these brakes turned out.